Since its birth in the 1970s, more than 400 million Rubik's Cubes have found their way into homes around the world. This puzzle has secured its place as the best-selling toy globally. However, have you ever wondered how this wonder is made? I invite you to a trip to China, where we can delve into the bowels of the leading companies in the manufacture of this popular toy. The Rubik's Cube, an iconic creation of the Hungarian engineer Erno Rubik, saw the light of day in 1974. Since then, it has captivated millions around the world with its combination of simplicity and complexity. With its six faces and 54 colored stickers, the Magic Cube, as it is called by some people, is a mathematical and mental challenge. But its apparent simplicity hides an incredible number of possible combinations that are more than 43 trillion. This astronomical figure illustrates the depth of the challenge amateurs face in trying to solve the cube in its original form. Although it has become a worldwide phenomenon, the Rubik's Cube got a modest start at the toy fair in Nuremberg, Germany, where Rubik initially presented it as a three-dimensional puzzle. Its initial success was followed by an international release in 1980, and it has since maintained its position as the world's best-selling puzzle. This magic cube has inspired speed competitions, with the world records for Rubik's Cube solving hovering around three seconds. In addition, its popularity has generated a number of variants and adaptations, from smaller models to versions with more faces and additional challenges. Now, let's dive into the meticulous manufacturing process of this ingenious invention. It all starts with designing and prototyping. Experienced engineers and creative designers use specialized software to model the cube in three dimensions, allowing for a detailed view of every aspect of the design. This process is not only limited to the visual appearance of the cube, but also encompasses its inner workings. Extensive tests are carried out to ensure not only its aesthetic appearance, but also its optimal functioning. The result of this modeling is a standard cube that will have dimensions of 5.6 centimeters on each side. It consists of 26 small pieces or cubes, each with an internal extension that interlocks with the other cubes, allowing it to be moved to different positions. However, the center pieces of each face are simply squares attached to the main mechanism, providing the structure for the other pieces to fit and rotate around. This results in 21 pieces in total, a center piece consisting of three axes holding the six square centers in place, and 20 pieces of plastic that fit into it to form the assembled cube. Each of the six centers rotates on a screw held by the center piece, with a spring between each screw and its corresponding piece to keep the assembly compact but manageable. After finishing the three-dimensional design phase, we enter the production area, where a sophisticated process known as injection molding is used to bring the cube parts to life. This process is essential in the manufacture of the Rubik's Cube, as it guarantees the precision and quality of each component. Injection molding involves the use of ABS, acrylonitrile butadiene styrene, plastic, a highly versatile and resistant material. This material is subjected to high temperatures and then injected into molds that faithfully reproduce the shape of the individual parts of the bucket. ABS plastic is carefully chosen for its exceptional properties. Its strength, durability, and ease of molding make it the perfect choice to ensure the longevity of the bucket. Once molded, the bucket parts go through a rigorous quality control process to ensure they meet the most exacting standards. Each part is thoroughly examined for any imperfections and ensure a perfect fit and optimal hub operation. Importantly, the use of ABS plastic not only confers cube strength, but also allows for a wide range of possibilities in terms of design and color. This has resulted in a variety of Rubik's cubes with different styles and finishes. Right here, we enter the cube assembly phase once all the individual parts have been meticulously molded. Each piece is carefully placed in its correct position, making sure that it fits perfectly in its designated place. First, the pieces near the core are joined. This mechanism is first lubricated with a kind of oil to have smooth turns when they are in operation. This process is carried out with the help of an ingenious click or latch mechanism, which ensures the stability and functionality of the bucket as a whole. Importantly, assembly is done in an automated manner, 
leveraging cutting-edge technology to ensure maximum precision and efficiency at every stage of the process. Specialized machines work in harmony to ensure that each part is positioned with the correct orientation and fits with the firmness necessary to withstand the rigors of continuous use. Once the Rubik's Cube assembly is complete, the process of labeling the faces with the corresponding colors begins. This crucial step is carried out with precision, using advanced techniques such as heat transfer printing or screen printing. These technologies ensure that each cube has vibrant and durable colors, essential for an optimal and long-lasting gaming experience. After labeling, the cubes are prepared for packaging. They can be placed individually in boxes designed specifically for each cube, or they can be grouped into packs containing multiple units. The choice of packaging method depends on the manufacturer's preferences and market needs. Before leaving the factory, each Rubik's Kubi undergoes extensive quality control and rigorous testing to ensure excellence. Every detail is thoroughly chiqued. The correct alignment and assembly of all parts is verified, the accuracy of color labeling is ensured, and the smooth operation of the cube is evaluated. In addition, specific tests are carried out to confirm that the cube meets the standards of smooth spinning and durability, ensuring an optimal and long-lasting gaming experience for the end user. Once the quality tests have been successfully passed, the Rubik's Cubes are prepared for distribution to a global network of stores and retailers. Each cube is carefully packaged in its own individual box, ready to be purchased by puzzle enthusiasts and enthusiasts around the world. The distribution of Rubik's Cubes covers a wide range of sales channels, from physical stores to online platforms, ensuring their availability to a variety of customers. This accessibility has contributed to its continued popularity and allowed the Rubik's Cube to transcend cultural and geographic boundaries, making it a global phenomenon that continues to challenge and delight people of all ages and abilities. Millions of people buy this product for its value for money, being affordable to most people's pockets. For this reason, it makes it an attractive option for those looking to stimulate their mind and enjoy a fun and satisfying experience. And that's the process of making that Rubik's Cube you'll see in stores. The iconic cube design has become a globally recognized symbol. So many products have been derived from this original product. This wide range of products not only reflects the cube's enduring popularity, but also expands its reach and appeal to an even wider audience. If you liked the video, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. In the windows that you will see below, there are more videos that may catch your attention. Go ahead and watch one. Until next time.